Joining us now, uh, Jonathan T. Gilliam, former Navy SEAL and FBI agent and president of American Council on Public Safety, and Jeff Rorter, executive director for the St. Louis Police Officers Association and author of Ferguson, The War on Police, The Untold Story of Ferguson. Gentlemen, welcome. Uh, Jonathan, um, it's a mouthful, everything we've been through, but let me ask you about, uh, could this guy have acted alone? If so, why do they keep telling us, the mayor and the police chief, we have three people in custody who are being uncooperative? What sense would that make? What do you think happened? I, you know, first off, let me just say that we can't really trust this uh, police chief in Dallas. Why is that? Uh, I've been contacted by numerous uh, law enforcement officers there through a source telling me that, um, and, and this comes, this direct quote, that he was telling them um, long before this happened to go to bad neighborhoods and sit there and don't do anything. And his theory is, if you're not making arrests, you're successful. That's this police chief. So now you're taking people and your officers and you're putting them out there on the street um, to guard the very people who are creating racial tension. Which is normal. Which is normal, but see, these cities have to realize, if you go and look online right now, you're going to start to see that what happened yesterday has brought, these people are idiots when they go on with social media and they tell everybody exactly how they feel. And it is unbelievable, the black racism that is out there. Yesterday, five cops got shot because they were white. There was no, you know, the cops that showed up in Louisiana, the cop that showed up in Minnesota, I don't know if that shooting was justified. The one in Louisiana is fully justified. Looks that way. But those cops didn't show up to shoot black people. They showed up to do their job. One guy was armed. The other cop might have been mistaken. But they didn't show up to shoot uh, black people. These people that were in Dallas, they, who, however many people that there are, they showed up to shoot, shoot white, white people. Yeah. Right? But yet we still have protests going on today about Black Lives Matter. Yep. And the guy who did this said that he, he, he went along with what Black Lives Matter is. We cannot allow these people to protest anymore. They've now become a terrorist unit because, remember, terrorism is the use of force or intimidation to change a political stance of the people in a nation or in a community. What would you suggest, deny them permits, arrest them if they try to protest? I say that the Black Lives Matter is a terrorist unit and they need to consider them and declare them a terrorist unit. Let me say one more thing. Yeah. The American people, this is it. The, 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 the shot heard around the world was what happened with uh, last week with Okomi denying justice. Loretta Lynch comes on TV today and says there has to be equal justice. Right. And she's talking about... She encouraged the protesters she, to continue. And she's talking not about Dallas. She's right. talking about these white cops shooting black people. Yeah. It's time for the American people to say, no more. We have to stand up. I know you work a full-time job, but you have to go out and stand up for what is right. When you get off work, it's time for us to do what's right. What about it, Jeff? Uh, first of all, you know anything about this uh, police chief? I don't. I would like to know okay. more. Okay. Well, what do you think has happened here? What do you think has happened? Was did this guy act alone? Uh, why is the uh, the parade routes or the uh, or the protest route published on social media in advance? Talk about it all. Well, you, listen. We law enforcement across the country is grappling with how to handle uh, their relationship with the community, and they're confusing their relationship with the community at large with this very small, vile, hateful group of people, uh, many of them associated with Black Lives Matter, who have fomented violence, who have engaged in in a level of hate speech. If, if, if you or I, Steve, engaged in, in the level of hate speech that, that these guys are constantly engaged in, uh, they, they'd want to deport us from the country. I mean, uh, it is unthinkable. And to think that 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 speech doesn't have any consequences. We saw that in, in bright, bright crimson yesterday in the streets of Dallas. Yeah. All right. So, gentlemen, let me, let me ask you both. Uh, John, um, uh, police are still marked men, right? More than ever. Look at what's happening today. Yeah. Cops, you know, like I they're said, having Georgia. threats all today yeah. and cops being shot today. The, here, here's a, the, the image people need to take away from this. When the shots got fired, the police were running towards the bullets yes. to, to stop the, yes. the incident. People were running away. Yep. So listen, if you don't want the police to support you, then you need to clean up your own community or don't, don't rely on them. Uh, Jeff, final word from you, sir. Uh, listen, uh, we need to stop pretending uh, that, that something's happening that's not. Uh, all this, all this uh, confabulation about about 
race being what inspires police officers when they go to work is is just a fiction. And the president is the is the uh, guilty in chief on that, right? He's very guilty. Yeah, He's absolutely. One of the worst. Absolutely. Jeff, Jonathan, thank you both for lending your expertise. Appreciate it as yeah. always. Uh, up next, Brad Taylor, author, and also 20 years in the U.S. Uh, infantry. We'll talk about it with him and take your calls. Don't go away. On the Steve Molesberg Show, I should tell you, on Newsmax Television.